Mark Taylor Canfield in Seattle. Hey, Mark, what's up? Hi, Tom. I have a new music video called Trump Mania, which mm -hmm. features samples of Trump making his usual outrageous statements set to my music. So I'll send a link uh, to that to your producer in case you might want to play that on your show sometime. But it's okay. available at YouTube. Mm -hmm. But I called in today because I want to let folks know about a bill in the U.S. Congress that's very important to me as a journalist. And you can read my article about this at democracywatchnews.org. I've briefed several members of Congress on this issue and a candidate for president. The Committee to Protect Journalists and over 50 news and freedom organizations, including uh, Reporters Without Borders, have signed a letter urging the United States senators to support the Protect Reporters from Exploitative State Spying Act, better known as the Press Act, introduced by Representative Jamie Raskin and supported by my friend and representative in Congress, Pramila Jayapal. The bill would create a federal shield law safeguarding reporters' source confidentiality, and it would prevent the government from accessing unreported source material. Hmm. It would prevent government surveillance of journalistic activity through phone and email providers as well. Mm -hmm. 35 attorneys and law professors have also signed the letter urging the Senate Judiciary Committee to schedule a markup of the Press Act as soon as possible so it would be considered by the full Senate. And the legislation previously passed the House twice, but has just languished in the Senate. So I wanted to let people know about this. As I previously reported on your program, the U.S. is currently ranked 55th in press freedom by Reporters Without Borders on their 2024 World Press Freedom Index. And one reason for that is because uh, the U.S. currently lacks a, lacks a federal shield law for journalists. And as a result, yeah. some reporters could actually be jailed for refusing to reveal their sources. The Press Act would prevent future executive branch officials from targeting journalists and their sources. It would prohibit uh, most subpoenas of reporters' phone and email records, a tactic that's been used by both Democrats and Republicans to attempt to uncover reporters' sources and identify whistleblowers. So I think it's a really, really important uh, piece of legislation that everyone should know about. You should lobby your senator to support the Press Act and get it through it. the Congress as soon you as possible. It. It's Thank really you, important for press. You got it. We'll be right back. In addition to bringing you the Tom Harbin program here on Free Speech TV and Video Media Online, we also have a whole set of ways you can interact with us and tools you can use to spread the word about the importance of democracy and the threats to it in our republic. First, there's your daily homework. Sue Nethercutt puts together a daily email newsletter that has a link to every story I discuss on the air. So you can find my sources and you can share them with your friends. It's free and you can sign up at TomHarbin.com. Second, I publish my daily take every day over at the HartmanReport.com website. That's also free if you want the daily five days a week rant in your inbox. No ads either. Third, we have the podcast. There's the free one-hour version of our daily show that's advertising supported. You can find that wherever you get your podcast normally. And then there's also the podcast of the entire three-hour show with no advertisements. And that's available by subscription over at TomHartman.com. So check them all out at TomHartman.com and HartmanReport.com. So yesterday was double match day, right? Or, or match day. Your, your $10 donation became $20. Your $50 became $100. Today is double match day, which means your $10 donation becomes $30. Your $100 donation becomes $300. This, uh, again, Dave, by the grace of God and our frontline funders. I mean, the, these people are just absolutely wonderful what they're doing uh, to help this, uh, this network out. And so today, just a marvelous day to be pitching in to help out Free Speech TV. Uh, and, uh, and the way to do that is to go to freespeech.org slash donate, or just freespeech.org, there's a donate button there. Uh, or call 877-378-8669. There's some premiums. I'll tell you about those on the other side of the break. But while you're while you're doing that, while you're off to 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 you know make your donation to Free Speech TV to make your voice heard, 
I think you'll really enjoy this speech. Check this out. All Americans must have the privileges of citizenship, regardless of race. And they are going to have those privileges of citizenship, regardless of race.